Oh my god, this is Wendy, one of the best players in Axie Infinity. And I'm playing with my god Reptile. Welcome to the channel Axie Rankers, today, we are having some fire matches with the team I've been playing lately. Between this and the double trump bird team, I was able to get to around top 600 with 2.5k MMR this offseason. First opponent will be a Twitch streamer, playing one of the teams I was using last season. He has a double discard yam plant on the front, a bulky dusk with winghorn in the middle, and the god mech in the back. This team is still really strong, even after all the nerfs. And of course he gets a full combo on turn 2. I guess we have a good example in this video, on how my team does without the god reptile. Luckily, I got a 4 card combo on my plant, and was able to kill him right away as well. I'm close to win now, my mech is faster, so I need to make sure I can either kill or live one more turn. And even without the crit, this would be enough. Game 2 will be against a Shrimpinator team. This is similar to the first Shrimpinator team I was using last season if you watched those videos, but instead of a mech backliner, he's using a plant with Gravelan. That can be a huge problem against my reptile for sure, and there's little chances I can win. Turn 1, I actually get an amazing hand on the mech. Turn 2, I expect him to use a gravel ant, so I use 2 cactus right away. Now there's no way his aqua goes to my reptile, so I'll kill him and prepare to kill the backliner. I do a huge mistake here, that could cost me the game. I actually skip a turn, hoping he would just gravel at my mech. Next turn, I'm planning to attack with everything I got, but, I don't get any other cards on my mech and skip again, when I should have attacked anyway. Now my mech is dead, and I'm left with my reptile against a gravel and plant. I hope this is a good example for you, of what you should or shouldn't do in this game. This is the only situation where my reptile can win. If I can make him really low, to a point where he has to gravel ant and heal every turn, otherwise I win. You can see that, I'm still playing the scally spoons every turn, doing some damage, and reflecting the gravel ant. And this is what happens next.
And luckily, I was able to win this game, but it should have been way easier if I didn't screw things up with my mech. In this game, we will have a mirror match, against another Twitch streamer. He's using an immortal plant on the front, a midliner dusk with double nutcracker. And a god reptile just like mine. Turn 1, I'll play all my plant cards right away, before his dust kills me. Now that his plant is dead, I'm going to use both Kantaros to do some damage right away while getting energy back. You can see he's actually doing the same. I end up critting here, but actually killing my mech as well, and now, we have to go for a 1v1 fight. And each card needs to be chosen properly. Most reptiles like to play 2 Indian stars a turn just to reflect damage, so those are games that usually take a while to finish. This time, I'm playing a scaly spoon right away to avoid that, while protecting myself with my own Indian stars, and this happens. I'll play it in GG. In this game, we have another type of team that has been flooding the arena in this offseason. A beast, reptile, plant team. Plant has serious, leaf bug, pumpkin and cattail. The midliner has confident, scaly spear, turnip and wall gecko. What a weird looking guy. And finally, the beast has the rimp combo, rice and a single nutcracker. Can my team win against a beast backliner? So far so good. But look at the amount of shield this guy can put. Let's see if my reptile can hold against this beast. I know he only has 3 energy. So I'm putting shield up while I also use tiny dinos for massive damage. I end up winning with a good amount of HP left. This will be the last game for this video, I hope you're enjoying it so far, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to see more. This is the game I'll be playing against today as Wendy, one of the best Axie Infinity players, who always get high ranks every season, and with a really good mech. Look at that monster! At this point, this seems to be an easy game, but I promise you, it's not. That mech can control the entire game, just by destroying energy while generating more itself. And you can see there's a huge difference already between us.
Luckily, I hit this crit and this did a huge difference. And I end up winning with a couple more crits, but the dual blade and the Kotara will finish it. That's it for today guys. I'll upload another video in a few hours, this time commenting other people's teams as well. Don't forget to check it out, and thank you so much for watching.